Don't think more of yourself than you should. I'd like to attach to that a story, briefly, of the man who played the whiz, Mr. DeShields, Andre DeShields. He came and had dinner at our home in Chicago, and at the end of the dinner he said, Minister, can I have a few private moments with you? I said, certainly. And we went into the side room of the National House, and he said, brother, wherever I go and the place where I am means something to me, I always spread some of the ashes of my mother, my father, and my lover. And this place means a lot to me. May I please spread the ashes of my mother, my father, and my lover around your property? And I looked at him and I, I didn't answer right away. And I said, uh, yes. And he reached in his pocket and he pulled out two um, jars. One was like the uh, uh, ketchup that you get in a restaurant and the other one was like the honey and the marmalade and all of that. Both of these were filled with ashes. And I reached out my hand. He put them in my hand and tears came up in my eyes. And uh, I said, oh, brother, this is one of the finest gifts that I have ever received. Thank you. He didn't know what I meant. I never told him until later. I asked my secretary, go and buy an urn and put these ashes in the urn. And the ashes are on my desk. As you see, when you have a gift, and my gift of speech is really a gift. I came here before you, I never made a note because I didn't intend to make notes. I intend to talk to you from here to there, from here to there, and let Allah guide me. When they told me some of the questions that you wanted to ask, I said, I don't want to see them. I said, I want the spontaneity of hearing a question and seeing what Allah will give me for you. And I already knew that before you could ask questions, a lot of your questions will be answered in the things I'm about to say. Or am saying. When I told that brother how precious the gift was, I put it on my desk. And you know, when you're in leadership and you have a great gift, like my brother Luke Mann is one of the greatest, uh, I think, entrepreneurs, uh, musicians, artists, composer, writer, just a brilliant man. But no matter what he's accomplished in life, and that's much, you notice him? He walks very humble. The praise of men and women is a heady wine. I'm going to say it again. The praise that you get for your gift can make you drunk and you want to get more of it you know it's like a drug you know. so whenever people praise Farrakhan too much 
I opened the urn and I put my finger in the ashes and they're right on the tip of my finger and I say from dust I came and to dust I shall return so who am I should I seek the worship and the praise of men when I am finite but God is infinite see oh man so humility and learning how to cast off praise 